What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Standard Magic the Gathering with your host, Internet McGee. I'll be your host, Internet McGee. And uh, so we're taking a look. I, I wasn't going to play Standard uh, first, but I kind of want to because I like the way this deck looks. And I want to see if it's anything. It could be nothing. Um, but I hadn't finished the sideboard yet, so we were finishing the sideboard. We just I just figured out that Hour of Devastation, the card that is actually in the set Hour of Devastation, is not Standard Legal. To the surprise of everyone in the chat, I'm sure. How do I feel about Rivers Rebuke? I feel okay about it. Um, I wish it wasn't six mana, but I think that's my biggest concern. I need four more sideboard cards, and I just don't. What what is what do red and blue even? They don't have Jace's defeat. You don't have Chandra's defeat anymore. What do these decks even have as far as sideboard cards? Lava foil. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Do you mean lava? I don't think that's what it's called, right? Lava Coil. I was like, Lava Foil. I was like, I don't think that's what it's called. That doesn't sound right. I only have two, but I think that's probably fine. It doesn't go to face, right? That's my biggest problem with the card. Like, I want all my burn to go to the face. Because that's how we're going to murder them. That sounds dark. I want to take probably one of these two out. It seems like a lot. I kind of want a 26 land. What's Ionize? So you guys are helping right now. Ionize? Is that a is that the name? Or are you guys wrong? I can't tell. Let's go to zero, see if it's a thing. Oh, Ionize. Oh, that does seem better. Oh man, I totally forgot that was a card. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that's much better than Sinister Sabotage. That's like a thousand times better than Sinister Sabotage. Wow, what a dummy I was. I would have totally forgot about that. So the reason being, I can I compare it to Counter Squall quite a bit because obviously it does a very similar thing. Um. So when I compare it to Counter Squall, and I feel like I haven't seen it at all because I'm like it's an uncommon, so I, clearly I would have seen it. I kind of I kind of start to forget it exists. Right, because it's not it's an uncommon, clearly, because Counter Squall was an uncommon, but I haven't seen it yet. So maybe this I just it kinda like it kinda I don't think it doesn't exist. I don't think I don't for I don't remove it from existence. It just kinda gets out of my uh my area. Get out of my area. I hope this is cheap. Eh, one thirty four. I mean I'll just take them all because they're very good. I don't like spending it, but I could just borrow these, but I'll probably just use these. Yeah, so when it's rare, then I just forget it exists. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, buddy. That's thank you, buddy. Helpful. Helpful. Yes. So when I when I was under the impression it was uncommon and I hadn't seen it, it kind of just gets out of my What else did I take out? What the heck? I wish there was an undo now, because Oh, I, I one cackling Drake left for some reason. That's weird. Yeah, I actually, I, Matthew, or I, I misread your 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 message, and I was like, actually, it gives you a hint that is it players shouldn't play it because of the the is it player is getting getting bamboozled. Um. But. Uh, then I then you then I realized you said shouldn't, and I was like, okay, cool. Shock might be good in the sideboard. I just like how much burn do we need? I don't think I don't care about lava coil. Like, how do we deal with creatures that have toughness five or more, right? Like if they play their own Niv Mizzet, how do we deal with that? I feel like we want some sort of bouncing. Is this for having like a block? I mean kind of, yeah. Uh, fight with fire is actually pretty good. Actually, fight with fire is probably perfect. I could see putting one fight with fire in the main deck, even. Yeah, I, I'm going to play one fight with fire over one chemist's insight. And I'll put one more in the sideboard against the control decks. I think Banefire is fine, but we do have... We already have Inescapable Blaze. Do I just go up to four Inescapable Blaze against the control deck? I'll put one more and I'll put two Banefire. I feel like that's just like... 
unbeatable, right? And we have three negates. We have one more disdainful stroke and two blink of an eye. I'll add one more blink of an eye. Opt. I don't feel like opt is where I want to be. I do like having search and chemistry's insight and risk factor for drawing. Like if they want to take damage from this, that's totally fine. But 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 bane fire. <laughs> similar but different. All right, one more sideboard card. Is there anything I'm just like I should really have? Um, I'm probably gonna take one mission briefing out for like a bounce spell. Do you have artifact hate? What artifact hate is there in red right now? What about that goblin? What's discovery? What are you asking me? Is that half of a card? Uh, I don't. What does that do? That card's terrible, right? Isn't opt just better than this? I mean, you look at one card instead of two, but it's an instant and it costs one mana. Dr. Funkberger MD, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't. Sorcerer Spyglass seems good. What's the artifact? Uh, oh, that's not. Yeah, we're just going to go Spyglass instead. All right, so for those watching on YouTube, hopefully you're sticking with us here. Um, take out the Fight with Fire. I think one more Inescapable Blaze and two Bane Fires is a pretty good amount for, for Burnsies. Electromancers. See, my problem with Electromancer is that we have to take out a lot of things for four Electromancers. Probably one mission briefing. And it's also like, so my problem with Electromancer is that it doesn't actually reduce that many things. Totem? What's Totem? Oh, Sentinel Totem. Um, Do we care about the graveyard? Is the graveyard like super relevant and standard right now? Destroy Artifact and we'll look in standard. Looks like we got some smelts. That's pretty bad. Demolish Shatter is also in standard. Huh. Is that it, really? Crater Maker, that's the one I was thinking of too. However, I don't know if we need that. I could see taking out one mission briefing for like a 26th land, to be quite honest. I don't know how this deck's going to fare. Like, we might not have enough card advantage. We might not have enough removal for creatures. Um, I mean, like, thankfully I have counter spells. I might just want more essence scatter to be able to deal with two drops. Like, we can take one Disdainful Stroke out and put one Essence Scatter in. Or, actually, let's take out Mission, mission Briefing and put in one Essence Scatter. Alright, let's try this deck out. I'm going to export it, though, and put it on the, uh, the thing so you guys can... Uh, STD, R, G, R, N... We just put it on the thing. Bonfire. Now that's going to be my head literally forever. Streaming, stream decker. <sighs> Alright. Star of Extinction's a little expensive. Having a tough day with my impression, one of the things that helps the best is caring for other people, so I love you. Hey, pernicious dude. Love you, buddy. You are my dude. Okay, I think the deck is up there now. So, yep. All right, cool. We are good. We are good. All right, let's just try this out. See how see how it goes. I have no idea. Like we could fail miserably, and then we can tweak it. You know, we can uh, do what we do, and then we'll do other things. What did it did it cancel? Usually, is the is the submit button not often on the right of things, and the cancels on the left? Is this backwards? Usually, the confirmation is on the right, isn't it? Is that just weird UI? B -b 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 
bonfire. I will play first. Went two on yesterday in a draft with the Boris Triple Skynet Legionnaire Triple Justice Strike. Oh boy, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. I feel like I got like, oh, there. <clears throat> this hand's perfect. Keep it. <clears throat> spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. You guys know about them spooky, scary skeletons? Oh, here we go. This is going to be... Actually, that's fine. We can deal with that. We'll just take a million from this thing. That's actually nice. We can play it on turn four uh, and still keep up both of these. What the hell's an impervious great worm? 1616? How did that thing get in the graveyard? <coughs> well, now I know about them, and frankly, I'm terrified. Don't be. Sco spooky, scary skeletons, are, are they're your friend. They're all friends here. Here comes a Johnny Pride mate. Snub nose, McNub nose. Yeah, you can have that guy. Unless you play a second one right now. You did not. So I'm going to lightning strike this guy with a red mana, though. Uh, I am going to play this because we can cast Risk Factor if they don't have anything. So this is 4, 8, 14. This would have been 17 damage. But the life gain is not really what we want to see. I don't think I care about this guy. That's fine. I will choose Snubhorn Sentry. Choose Old Snubby. For Rosie O'Donnell, <laughs> there are links in my Twitch page. There should be a description uh, for that. If you want to support the cause. Uh, target opponent. Yeah. What, what you going to do? They're like, I'll take. You always take four. It's just four damage at first, right? 100% take four. I now have a new favorite Twitch name. <laughs> oh man, are you are you the real Rosie O'Donnell? First time Twitch watcher and avid YouTube fan, so I guess I'm taking my future self when I watch this days later. <laughs> Doug, glad you can catch me live, even though you're now watching on YouTube. Hajigulashi, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, this is a tough decision. Yeah, you always take four. Unless it's like the third one and you're like, oh, well, I, I'll probably just die if I take four at this point. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. There, I, We have <clears throat> uh, six total, five drops, six drops in the deck. So we have two of these, two of these, and two of these, and we have all three of them in our hand. That's, that's something. I do feel like we have some time here, so I'm not too worried about it, but. At least you're not singing baby. Baby shark. Yet. At least I'm not singing baby shark. Yet. I will take two damage. Oh, the chocolate rain. Uh, I'm going to counter this guy. This guy's problematic for the red deck. 
What do we want here? A land would be nice because we can play Ral. Mission briefing. We can keep mission briefing up to Essence Scatter or Lightning Strike, which is pretty nice. Or we can um, we can also make it so that we hit a land next turn. Or we can risk factor them again with with the mission briefing. I kind of like mission briefing Essence Scatter, especially because it lets us set up our draw. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. I don't know what the problem is. I'm just trying to pass my turn. Oh, I wonder what this I wonder what this graph uh this graph link is. Look at this graph. Demonetized. I feel like Frank would, would be great to go out to karaoke. I'd actually not a huge karaoke singer. I like to limit my singing to uh uh to whimsical jokey songs and not really I'm not gonna give you a serious rendition of any of these songs. So uh I don't know, maybe I could do that. Just really over over exaggerated at karaoke for I don't know what the, I just want to pass the turn. You don't even have any decisions to make here, man. Are they double queuing? <clears throat> Did it say when we started? I don't know. Round one, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say they're in another event. I don't know what's going on here. Dr. Pepper is the best soda. That's it's not really accurate, unfortunately. Dr. Pepper's a good soda. I actually like Pib Extra more than Dr. Pepper. It has like a more... A fruity flavor to it. Does that make sense? It's got more like of a cherry... Cherry-ish vibe going on. <clears throat> this I don't care about and can't really do anything about. However, unfortunately, they will get a third guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Tempted a mission briefing kill this guy, and then they actually have very little pressure for Ral, which is kind of nice. I'm going to do that. Let's well, mission briefing. Um... I want to put this in the graveyard. I don't care about it at this point. I will put this on top. I will target lightning strike. I will lightning strike this gentleman. And then we'll play Ral's Eric. Also, what's our graveyard? Three? So we can actually shoot something if we wanted to and still keep Ral alive? That's pretty good. Mr. Bruce is a sweeter Dr. Pepper. Doc Pip Extra is basically an entirely... Yeah, I agree with you. I don't think they're the same at all. Um, I want the Ionize. And then I'll pass to you. They have five permanents, so it's very, very unlikely they'll be able to uh, ascend. So six permanents. Land would be seven. Even if they had raised the alarm, um, it would only get plus two, plus two. Or to two permanents, rather. They go to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah, so that'd be nine. Land and two guys. <clears throat> One land uh, and a Niv-Miz, it seems pretty insane here. I'll be honest with you guys. Is it going to be a land? It is. It is a Steam Ventos. Ventos, the Fresh Maker. All right. Um, God, do I just take Ionize and have double Ionize? <clears throat> I will take two here. It's ya boy. Even if they kill this guy. Alright, so they're gonna land, tap three guys, kill Niv Mizzet, and then we don't have another Niv Mizzet. 
What do you target mission briefing? We targeted Lightning Strike to get rid of their Dauntless Bodyguard and set up a land on top. Look at this, Ben Alish Marshall. He's coming in for the beats. This does not seem good. Oh, I guess they get to flip that, but I'm, I'm still not. Do you have a plus two, plus two effect? I'll block here in case you do. The lifelink is kind of ruining our plan, but we do have a niv mizzet so. I will draw this. Shoot you. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Ral is not a draw effect, so like we don't get to, we could actually inescapable blaze this guy and then they both die, which is kind of nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. When we draw a card, it deals damage. Whenever a player casts an insert sorcery, you draw a card. Okay, so what we can do is blaze here, draw a card, shoot a thing. Hmm. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep we got infinite ionizes. Um We'll put the land in our hand. Play the land. <clears throat> Mission briefing one, two. I think we messed this up. But maybe not. <clears throat> maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of a mess up, but I think it's still fine. We draw a card. Shoot you. Yeah, this is still fine. Um, Do I want either of these? I'll keep the chem... Oh, we can put this in the, in the graveyard. Put this on top. Actually, that should go in the graveyard, too. This is a pretty bad matchup for a Disdainful Stroke. It just... It was a spell, so... I'll just cast it normally. Target you. And... Shoot your face, I guess. And they're just taking another four here, I presume. Yeah, we'll just pass. We have Essence Scatter and Disdainful Stroke. If they have like a Planeswalker or the four mana like uh, Convoke Exile spell, I don't know what that thing's called. Oof, there's a lot of dudes. Yeah, not terribly afraid about it though. Rosie O'Donnell, thank you for continuing the gift sub. Really appreciate it. Once you go Rosie, you never go back. I think that's true. Fascinating. Why do I feel like they have a pump spell? <sighs> well, what can you do? I think we're trading in if Mizzet for a Banalish Marshal. Uh, if you have the city creatures you control in general, get that, sure. Well, they don't have the city's blessing, so that's nice. I guess we should have shot their face. I thought it was plus two, plus two. These are new cards that I'm not super familiar with. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so they basically just kill a Ral. Seems good. Thanks again for signing money as Canadian, so it's only worth half. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell, I forgive you. Is Rosie O'Donnell Canadian? Because that's pretty funny. All right, so we have one Ral and one Niv-Mizzet down, which is pretty rough as far as win conditions go for us. We do have a lot of... Uh... I think we should have countered this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Yeah, we actually can pass. We're just playing a control deck. We don't need to do anything here. We do take four, but that's not a big deal. And we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage in hand. And we can always chemisters insight at the end of our turn, discarding a mountain or a disdainful stroke even. Which is pretty nice. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two cards in hand. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of this. <clears throat> Also, it's worth noting we've made like ten misplays this game. It's not, um, it's not un, um, it's not uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not unaware of that. Is what I'm looking to say here because you guys are going to be quick to the comments with it. That seems good. <clears throat> one two three. One two three. One two. I don't think we care about the Guild Gate. We can easily play Risk Factor, Discard, Disdainful Stroke, though. We're at 11. It's a lot. We can counter pretty much anything they do. 1, 2, 3. If they take 4, they go to 12. 1, 2, 3, they go to, tw they go to 8. We counter something with Ionize. They're gaining two. I think we might just have to kill this. It feels bad, but if they gain two life, which is over three turns, they're countering our inescape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're going to make a guy, I think. If they go to make a guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they have nine. So if they go to make a guy, they're going to get the city's blessing. No blocks. You have to make a guy, right? You have to go for the extra three damage. Yeah, we're going to kill this guy to keep you off. Yeah, we should have Essence scattered this a while back. That was a big, that was a big issue. Nature's little treasure heal drafts that Frank and Mike do a draft with their finest English accents. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, we'll have to do this next week when Mike is off. That's pretty hilarious. Let me write that down. I'm still writing your name as Juposhi, which is pretty funny. Uh, and I'll copy that. Okay. All right, so we're taking one. Seems fine. I wish I had an extra land. I wish this is a guild gate and come in and play tapped. One, two. Oh, I think we're one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. If they play any permanent. Hopefully it's not a land. It's just a spell. I feel like we could have won this game. We just actually didn't know how to assess the threats in this deck. It's really the point. Oh, they just make a guy. Yeah, I guess they don't have to do anything. Yeah, we're going to go to uh, 8. We're going to go to 2 here, which is not good. Yeah, I definitely attribute these these losses to my own. I was not expecting uh, Pride of Conquerors for sure. And Disdainful Strokes pretty blank. We kept one. That was also a mistake. Um, I 
Oh, I guess I'll add a, I'll, I'll add a red. Why not? This guy. Oh my god, I've been a sub almost as long as Yoakum. <laughs> yeah, almost. It's real close. No beats. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. They're like, I'll just go to 11 here. There's nothing you can do that scares me. Also, these are vampires. These are not pirates, which is interesting. Oh, wow. This is pretty hilarious. If we had a lightning strike, if we had three more damage, that's pretty amazing. Wow, they go to three? Oh, we're three damage away. That was pretty close. All right, they got it. That, they didn't They didn't care about lightning strike? Wow. What would we have drawn? Eh, nothing that would have helped. They probably should have just given us three cards there, I think. All right, so we're taking out Disdainful Strokes. Uh, taking out one search. I think I only like one search in the deck anyway. Bring in the three cannonades. I think that's probably good. And we also we didn't see any crackling dragons, so yeah, that was a pretty sweet recovery. I think we we definitely could have won that game had we played a little bit tighter. I'm also getting used to the cards and the interactions and the potential things my opponents can do as well. So, what can you do? Magic's a hard game. Um, I'll keep this based on Fiery Cannonade, I think. What's going on, Cody? You can Spyglass their land. Yeah, that's. I mean, that was the one thing I thought of, but I don't know if it's worth it. Bonfire. I think they're going to six. I will proceed. Land. Oh, four drop. That's close. That's basically a land. They didn't have one drop. Have you considered going three mizzets in the deck? Maybe. I mean, like, I have... I had three inescapable blaze in the deck in the beginning. Interesting. Activated abilities. Is jumpstart an activated ability? I don't think so. Is it? Maybe. My problem with going three and escape three Niv Mizzet is that we have two inescapable blaze and three Niv Mizzet, and it's a lot of six drops. So one thing I am going to change is I'm going to take I'm going to add one more land. I think take out one search. How are we looking here on islands versus? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Islands versus mountains. We can just add another mountain. What do you name here? I don't even. Yeah, I guess Ralzarek is, is a good thing to name. I mean, if we get if we can hit land, land, I'm pretty sure we're in great shape. Any two lands, let us cast Crackling Drake at this point. If it's unless it's Mountain Mountain. <laughs> any one non-mountain land and any land lets us do that. Uh, I actually wrote about a Sultai mid-range deck on Patreon this weekend. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any good. I might want to. I might test it out in the future, but um, I like the deck that I proposed. 
but again, I don't know the standard format, so. <clears throat> what did they name? Ral is advice, Roy. Sounds good. And land seems good. I'm okay with that. I'll even play Clark Crackling Drake as an 04 if I have to. Also, hope you guys are ready for more. Uh, me, me advertising more things next week because I think next week I'm gonna start advertising uh, me undies and quip on stream. They've both offered sponsorship opportunities for me that I would be interested in checking out. If this is an untapped land, see, this is why I don't like the guild gates. Like, if this is an untapped land, we could play both of these. Either one of these, rather. But being a tap land is pretty bad. So, me undies actually sent me a sample. Uh, and I was like, these are legit soft and comfortable. I am pretty okay with both of these things this guy they do not put my face on them um but i imagine you'd be fine with that if they did like i appreciate i don't know what i was gonna say there yeah but how do they taste well see that's that's the thing i have to let you figure that out on your own because um i can't give away all the secrets otherwise you have no incentive to buy right so you buy them uh using my 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 exclusive meundies.com slash frank lapore link whatever um and then you can you can explain to us how they taste and then it can be a testimonial so everybody wins and you win the most because you tasted your underwear so The buyback clone? No, no, because there's only like two creatures in the deck. There's only the deck has six creatures. So like and and two of them are legendary. So the only card we can actually copy is Crackling Drake. And if they kill it in response, then we just get nothing. So um this is definitely not a clone Drake. Will you wear them on your head? Maybe. I imagine that actually it's funny because I have them right here. I have them right here. These are the samples, and they're like really soft. And these are clean. I haven't worn these yet. So don't think I'm like rubbing dirty on that would be so weird. And they also sent me socks. I got some MeUndies socks. So. Uh, I guess we're blocking here. You can see the soft. <laughs> I can see the softness. This guy's problematic. We might just want... Oh, we have lightning strike, but we might want, we might want, might want more. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Frank. There's nearly no, next to nothing. I don't. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. Um, all right. So, double fiery cannonade is probably where we want to be next turn. For now, we can just keep up ionize and do some blockage. I mean, this is all, all presumes that... Actually, maybe we just play another Crackling Drake. I think we do. Three times softer than cotton micromodal. How did you... Did it say that? How did you know that? How did you know that? Is that what they're... Is that what they're known for? Is that what they say? I'm trying to, like, look for... There's, like, no labeling on these either. It's very simple. It just says MeUndies on there. And it's got this sweet purple band, so it's a nice purple maroon, like combination but I, I don't there's no like tag there's no tag that says like um you know information on there yeah i'm gonna actually play the other crackling drake oh actually if we double fire cannon we kill both our crackling drakes so that's pretty bad hmm yeah i thought it was funny that like h3h3 is also sponsored by quip and me undies and i was like oh well i guess they're Reaching out to a bunch of people because 
I don't know what to do here. This is actually tricky because these guys are all... So they're going to pay four life for this and this guy dies, which is fine. But we'd have to do it now. Double cannon would kill both of our drakes, yes. That is correct. Less than ideal. But if we block the marshal and then cannonade, um, I mean, we trade. It's two for one. That might be fine, though. Actually, it's a two for two. That might be fine. This is where they go land Pride of Conquerors. Oh, it's going to be brutal. Or they, or they don't. Huh. Oh, they definitely have it. <laughs> oh, they definitely have it. This is bad. This is... No boy, no. So we're just going to block here. Uh, I don't, don't, if they were, if they try to cast pride in response, we're gonna. Uh, dang it! I'm gonna do this anyway because we can untap and do it. It's four, five, six. They, we know they have it. It's one of their two cards, obviously, because they never don't have it. Yeah, of course you do. <sighs> Go to five. So we just untap cannon again, but then we die to both of these guys if we don't have anything else. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right. We need to land there. Yeah, this is this is rough. Okay. Um so I think we want we do want some shocks and stuff in the sideboard. Uh I don't care about maybe I don't want sorcerer spyglass. Sample stroke number 3. Those both seem good. Got the disdainful stroke. Take out one spyglass, I guess. Spyglass, I've never wanted to want to draw two of. I guess I don't know. Syncopate might be better than disdainful stroke. That's actually we can try that. I don't love it, but I don't love syncopate as a card. I think, but I think it's worth trying. Also, I don't know how aggressive the standard format is right now, so. Yeah, we'll keep this. I think we could have won that last round. Or at least at least the game that we lost, and then uh before the that we could have we could have won the first the first game, the penultimate game rather than the ultimate game. At the very least. Alright. Vents. Oh my god, it's just mono white. Ezab, thanks so much for the twenty. Thanks for the twenty-five bones. Really appreciate it. I will shut up and take that. Uh, I will counter this. I feel like you should have led with this, right? Like, oh, I guess if you're playing two guys, like you're. This is going to be two damage as well. But this is always two damage. So now you're getting one in instead of two. And you had two other one drops in hand, presumably. I hope there's a control deck. Unwind would be sweet in this kind of deck. Um, God, I wish Unwind was... 
I wish Unwind was not non-creature. Um, see, we get into a situation like this where we don't have an answer. And then just, they, they just play out their hand and we just... This might be too aggressive for us. Is this just like standard right now, this deck? <laughs> this is mono-white deck like the deck. Is 26 lands too many? Good lord. Because we're just taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're taking 7 now. <sighs> yep. Don't be lands. Oh, I and I doesn't scatter. All right. <clears throat> All right. I see what's happening here. We need more proactive things to do. So, like, we need, we need like, shocks in the main deck instead of essence. Like, like one essence scatter, I think. Shock, shock. Cannonades. Take out the blazes against them. Take out, the, take out a risk factor or two. I guess we can keep an essence scatter in. Take out the one land. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Probably can't lose now, right? We could probably still lose. We could actually try putting Chain Whirler in. The problem is you never want to spend three mana to kill a one drop. And then you never want to spend another three mana to kill them. Like, you're spending six mana to kill two one drops. At that point, I'd probably rather just have... Um, this hand is great. I'd probably rather just have Fiery Candidate in the actual deck. It's actually a 1-5 blue guy, but I don't know. That, is that standard playable? Like, you take a turn off to play that guy. He doesn't affect the board. At least Crackling Drake draws you a card. Can you splash white for Bronado? That's was that a was that an autocorrect? Because that's a pretty hilarious autocorrect. And by Bronado, I mean Clarion. I mean, Chain Roller is also just a very solid 3-3 three, three for 3. Just kill them all. They're all going to die. Yes. Alright, this is pretty good. We can ionize whatever you play. We got a Rao coming down on an open board right now as we speak. Oh. Now Rao definitely comes down because we can counter their next play. Drop a Rao. Yeah, this game might be over. I'll take the Essence Scatter. We are good on lands. And the game has ended. Okay. Well, that worked well. Two shocks made a big difference. We didn't even have to play the Cannonades.
A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Put in one more shock? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, this is our first match. This is our second match, so I can't really tell you. I've played... I've cast it twice. This hand seems pretty bad. Also, didn't I want to take out the guild gates? This is not good, but I'll keep it because it's got a spell and it's got some lands. They went to five, so maybe not terrible. I wish I could put this in the graveyard. And put you on the bottom. I can't hope for a better five than this. Or better, but uh, yeah, I can't hope for a better five. Oh, wow. I thought I just put you in the graveyard. That's weird. Um. Oh, all right. If we can, if we can get away with an no play on turn three here, don't be history of Benalia. That's fine. I can deal with that guy on board. History is a little harder to deal with. So we can go turn three this, turn four this, turn five ionize. I like this. Easy as one, two, three, and missing one, two, three, and you and me. I have this stuck in my head because of easy AB, ABC 123's uh, donation earlier. So now I'm just thinking of easy ABC 123. Easy as 1, 2, 3. Okay. Sulphur Falls. Pretty solid land. Casper, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always appreciate it. Always good to see you, sir. I will take another three. No? Yes? I want to fly. No? Yes. No. Okay. I don't know what we're doing here. Okay, you sure? <laughs> Stormcrow, welcome back, buddy. Um, yeah, that's not. Let's not do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to say no. To that. That's going to be a no for me, dog. Have you seen the Phil Collins in the air tonight, dear? Yes, I have. It's actually very good. Very good. Really? This is what you want to do with your life? And now we can set up a draw, too? My God. Oh, I just want another ionize, don't I? Put into your graveyard. Yeah, I'll keep ionized number two. As my conscience seems to be. Here is one Bronado buck because, buddy, you deserve it. Drosie O'Donnell, thank you so much. Always appreciate the support, especially from uh, someone as well established as yourself. I want to do this now because if they have the uh, plus one, plus one, or plus two, plus two, I don't really feel like dealing with it. Plus, we can do a bunch of stuff still. Look at all these beautiful lands. Beau one, two, three, four. We want to play this because we want to be able to uh, ionize if we have to, and still. Chemistry's insight. I don't think. Yeah, I'm like you can't. I don't think you can win this game. All right, so we wanted to make some changes. I'm not a big is it Guildgate fan. However, the fixing is nice. There's just turns like I feel like I never want that to come into play tapped. I feel like we can probably take out one risk factor. I'm not a huge fan of Fight with Fire. I guess we can Shock instead. Two Shocks. 
Oh, and I was going to take one land out for another shock. I like that. You don't think eight duels is enough? Maybe it is enough. I mean, the hardest things to cast are Crackling Drake and Mission Briefing, right? So I can just add another one of these and these. I really don't like the Guild Gates. Every other land comes into play untapped when you need it to. The problem is this is very... The list feels very tight, like... I could see taking out one Essence Scatter for, like, one Chain Whirler, maybe. Is that any good? I don't know. Shut up and take my money. Get wrecked, Frank. I but I want... Oh, one Brosie O'Donnell. Wow. <laughs> That's... Man... Wow, Brosie O'Donnell. I was like, what well, Rosie O'Donnell? I just won the game and what happened? Thank you. The Planeswalker Academy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. All right, let's try this again. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. Oh, oh, this is the same guy. I'm going to actually avoid it this time so I don't have to play the same match three times in a row. I mean, also, if the Izoni deck is any good, you guys, it's Izoni, right? That's what a card's called? Izoni? Izoni? Stop saying it. Um, it makes a bunch of 1-1s, one right? So Chain Roller might be good against this, too, if this is, like, a real deck. I don't know. Maybe Chain Roller is just still MVP in this format. close these other dead matches Planeswalker Academy things are pretty alright Plus, Chain Whirler is just a guy that you can... Whose deck is it? It's mine. I brewed this from, from scratch. And I... Uh, what's my favorite meal? Probably pizza. I mean, it's pretty simple, but... You know. It's pretty much a go-to. Remember during your card reviews, almost the very card you looked at was dies to... Yeah, like, I agree. And I, I didn't think it was a huge deal, but now it seems like it might be. Esper Doom Whisper, that's a lot of five drops. Can we fit two in here? Let me take out one Essence Scatter and... One Syncopate, maybe? Maybe one Crackling Drake can come out. Let's try it with two. Uh, I don't think we need the Guild Gates back just for that, though. Like, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 red sources. I mean, having a Guild Gate only replaces one island, right? So, um... We only have one extra red source with the guild gate. Oh, look, perfect. Maybe we could use some blue, but how do you feel about the X blue bounce tribal spell? Um, I think it's probably too expensive for what you want to do. Like most of the time, you're going to be bouncing. If you want to use it wide, you're probably going to be bouncing like one ones or two twos. In which case, fiery cannonade is just going to be better because it's going to kill all of them. 
um, for three mana instead of like six or five or however much you're paying. Rosie O'Donnell, copywriting Rosie O'Donnell before Frank sings Notion Rain. Well, you did happen to beat me to it this time. Um, and if you're if you're bouncing like big things, you're it's probably just a, a one for one. Keep. Notion Rain. Oh, dang it. Dang it, Rosie O'Donnell. <sighs> Some state dry. Well, uh, more, more budget than this. This is, I think the most expensive card is like a three ticket Rouse Eric in here. Some state dry while others feel the pain. Notion. Oh, that was a good, that was beautiful. This was like the Notion Rain of my heart right there. What the hell does that mean? What a weird thing to say. Uh oh, is this a mirror match? What's even happening? Huh. I'm cheap, right? Yeah, that's fair. Well, see, it's funny because it, you're cheap, but you still sub, which is pretty amazing because you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Oh, also exiling spells is pretty amazing. Rosie Gonzalez, what that was worth three dollars. <laughs> fantastic, just fantastic. Yeah, we're not gonna play Chain Whirler yet. I'd rather keep up Syncopate in case they risk risk fic factor. Yep, this is pretty amazing. Oh, this freaking mirror match is amazing. Yeah, that's that's my impression of um, MTGA as well. Is that like you just lose to people playing random stuff, which I mean I I think is kind of fine. I actually kind of like that that people just are able to play random things and win. But the the reason I dislike it is because it doesn't feel accurate to a standard meta game. You know what I mean? Oh, they took the four. No one ever lets you draw three cards. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate raid. Two two mountains, one island, and a sulfur falls, and a dual and a red, a red blue dual land. Yep, this is amazing. Guys, what should I have for dinner tonight? I don't know. Yeah, their mountains don't match. And this is a foil, whereas this is not. There's a lot of asymmetry going on here, which I'm internally cringing at. They're at 12 already? I guess we could probably shock them, right? Actually, shock is just worse than a second copy of Risk Factor, right? Ooh. See, that's an interesting thing you have to keep in mind. That, like, every card in your hand could just be a different card, you know what I mean? Like, when Risk Factor's in the graveyard, is this better at face value or is it better as a Risk Factor? And later in the game, if you draw an excess land, should you have shocked and discarded the land instead? You know what I mean? I play asymmetrical on purpose. Feon, how? Why? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, Electro McMancy. See, this is why we saved our shock. This is why, boys and girls. Crush your little goblin. This is where they ionize us, and then we syncopate it. Wizard's lightning. Okay. This is a wizard? Oh, I like that. That's just fine. Oh, yeah, we're definitely casting that guy. Yeah, one mana up in standard deal. Hmm. 
Make eggs, potatoes, mushrooms, onions, hot peppers, and bacon. I'll, I'm okay with all that except for the mushrooms and the bacon. Oh, I don't want either of these. Actually, I do want the ionized. Where was a land? 25 lands? Couldn't hit that land. Man, I love food. Good times. Everything is all right. Uptight. Adelies. Do you just do you wizard's lightning here and then Adelies? And then you deal six? That's sad. I'd cry. I would cry if you had a second wizard's lightning. Don't tap that sulfur fl It has to be wizard's lightning. Oh, Opt is fine because she still lives. Or he still lives? He still lives. And now we can lightning strike, keep up ionize, and keep up Ral. I don't even make bacon. I just added that because I thought people like. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't even put that in there. I just said it because people seem to like that kind of thing. Let's hit a land. Can we do that? Daddy needs a land drop. Yeah, I'll take the land. Kill you now. Go in the trash can. Watch how carefully he reads both his cards and chat. I told you this was so much better than what we had planned. It's it's nice once and in a while to get you out of the kitchen, Mama. Those onions are doing you and I do. What is going on, Drew? What is going on? This is amazing. Oh, look at that elk tears just peeping in the chat. Just keeping his nose down. I don't want you to come down. Do you have a negate? Let's see if we can do it. If they do counter this, then they'll leave them there for two, which is still fine. See, another card I was thinking is Gutter Snipe. Is Gutter Snipe just going to deal more damage? Especially like Mission Briefing and Flashing Back a card is like four damage from a Gutter Snipe. Yeah, Ralzak is... Pretty unbeatable here, I think. Um, I'll take a lightning strike. Play a land. Pass the turn. I probably just want to play Chain Whirler. See, this is the part where I'm like, Chain Whirler. Oh no, I can't. I don't even want to play you. The Underra has a purple band. <laughs> oh god. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. You've linked. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is apt. So I creep. Yeah, I creep. That's a good jam. Man, I think people forget how many hits TLC had. Uh oh. Is this an Invisit? No, it can't be an Invisit. You don't have triple blue. I mean, EOT, we could actually just go double risk factor, and they either give us three cards or they go to two and die. Uh, Go to two and die. Yeah, I sing Scrub pretty regularly. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. I don't know. Oh, nothing, huh? Nothing. Yeah, two cards, three cards. All right. All right. Boop. Also, chem discarding a chemist's insight is pretty good. Are you gonna are you gonna carry count on this? Why? Ionize. Ionize. Okay. So it's like, it, they basically countered Chain Whirler. If you think TLC was underrated, you likely weren't alive when they were popular. They were, um, they were definitely huge. Actually, yeah, they were definitely the Destiny's Child of the late 90s. I'm giving you all these things to counter. Lightning Strike. Lightning strike. I 
All right, that's enough lands. Don't be a land here. Don't be two lands is what I'm saying. <sighs> it has a sadness. Mission briefing can hit some things. See how much mana we want this turn. We have two risk factors. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we don't have a reason to not play this here. I mean, we have a bunch of lands to discard. I mean, it's... This is why I do like Jumpstart. I mean, it's worse. Obviously, still worse than Flashback because Flashback spells you don't have to dis you don't have to discard your lands. But I mean, it is nice that you get to do things with all your later lands. Like, oh, pitch my thirtieth land, draw an extra two cards. I feel like they're just gonna let me draw the three. It's getting to a point where like. They took it. Took it. Yeah, they took it. Do, 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 do. I would love to draw one. Oh, it's a, it is the mirror match. Only they have like wizards. You're a wizard mirror match, Hattie. What did I draw? Three? Ooh, all three of them. That's a good card. You can't escape the inescapable blaze, though. 420, inescapable blaze it. Pitch your 30th land? At that point, it seems like a deck building issue. It might be. It might be. All right, well. Well, well, well. Uh, let's t Actually, Essence Scatter would have been fine. Shock would have been... Chain Willer not pulling its weight here. What do you got? A bunch of nerdy creatures. I'm going to take the shocks out. Well, no. I'll take one shock out. I'll bring in two negates. I mean, the problem is, like, I, they have Adelies, so they can go Adelies and then, like, opt. So shocked is worse. Shock is only good against the Electromancer, really. Four twenty inescapable blaze it. I just want to kill people with inescapable blaze and standard. That's really all I want to do. I feel like that's not a lot to ask for. Yeah, I like this hand. I would like more lands, but we'll get there. Ooh -wee. Oh, they are they are hardcore wizards here. Yeah, I might like Vainfire better as well, actually. It can kill a wee wizard. I don't think I care about this guy. But I might. Because if they play another thing, I can just kill that too. So I'm not too... I'd rather just take no damage. I don't think you have any kind of wizard pumps. Wizard lady lumps. My wizard pumps. My wizard... You guys know what I'm saying. Alright, now we need some... Uh, now we need some lands here. 25 lands in the deck. Don't do me like this. Insta-kill. She dead. Oh, you dead. Oh, how nice. An island actually would even be great because we can mission briefing, set up our fourth land, and shock something. So that's cool. Okay, all out. Rosie O'Donnell, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I 
I used to love Fireball Island. That was probably one of my favorite. Are we talking about the game? That game was gas back when I was a wee lad. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy who can't draw no lands like me. Sitting on the first player side, trying to cast his spells. And the game of Magic the Gathering. Well, at least we get the risk factor if we don't counter something. And if we counter something, we're still doing all right. Maybe mission briefing is too cute. The goal of mission briefing was to, uh, to, to escaping blaze them for, inescapable blaze them again for eight. An uncounterable eight. But the difference is, I guess this can be countered. So if you want to syncopate this, it's pretty good. Syncopate for two is very, very nice. It's very nice. Uh, there's just two mission briefings in here. Ooh, doggy. They have five cards. They didn't counter that. I'm intrigued. But now we have double counter spell up, so. Are they going to do the same? Wizard's Lightning. You're a Wizard's Lightning, Hattie. Okay. You got it. Lightning Strike. No, just Wizard's Lightning. See, mine was just better. That was a better for three mana. I already dealt the four. And I could do it again. But I'm pretty sure they have this in the deck, so. Oh, Biscuits. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's respond to that. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. So, all right. Well, that's hard to deal with. Really, no lands here. Crying out loud. Just trying to hit my land drops like you do. Two lands. Literal no lands? Yeah, we're done. Four lands out of 25 and 18 cards is not realistic. All right, Niv Mizzet. That is a dude. I guess we're just going to have to try to niv it first. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Typically, I need less. I uh, typically I could teach John Avon a thing about drawing lands. Would Niv Mizzet be cool if his name was Steve Mizzet? <laughs> I'm not as cool. I don't think. Oh, that's old Steve Mizzet. Yeah, he's not very threatening. Yep, that's old Steve. Is Niv Mizzet a wizard?
A scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting on the iron ice, trying to caroling Drake. Uh, 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 uh. He's a wizard. He's a lizard. He's a neopet. Can't be countered in the sun. Oh, you're going to play something else. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, now you got that too, too. Honestly, stream, would you be more afraid of someone with a life-size portrait of themselves in their office or someone with a regular-size photo of them in a clown costume? The clown costume. I think the life-size portrait... Maybe... I mean, it depends on if it's done well. Like, I think, like, life-size portraits of people, when they're done in, like, a traditionally comical way... Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, if you were dressed as, like, Napoleon on a horse in, like, a life-size portrait, that's funny, and that's kind of cool. I would like something like that. You know, or, like, if you're sitting in a... Wow, I didn't, I didn't know you could do that. Um, you know, something just like that's not realistic, but kind of puts you into like a historic scene. That's cool. That would be a cool life-size portrait. Whereas a clown costume, why do you have that? Like, there's no way that's that's just weird, and it's like, it's regular size, so you're clearly not like doing it ironically or anything. It's just kind of like. I don't know. Don't do that. Don't be the guy with the friggin' regular size photo of them in a clown costume. No one wants that guy. Adelise, Adelise. I think that's Destiny's Child, though, so we're like, uh. I feel like you do have the thing. You got the pump, right? Yeah, God. Their deck is just more aggressive. Oh, this is actually fine, though. That's good. We take three, but our, our crackling Drake lives to fight again. I don't like Drake in the deck, actually. It's just, it's... We don't have enough spells to throw out early, unfortunately. Well, that's not bad. I'm going to kill this now, especially because it makes my Drake 2-4, and we can keep Vine Eyes. I like that. Next turn, we can potentially Chemister's Insight and do nothing else. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> we haven't missed any land drops yet. Cut it for Bolus. Okay. Actually, I like that. Huh. It's the same form of card advantage. It's still a one, like, it's plus one for you. And it's always a 4-4, four, four, and it has a very, very high upside. That's interesting. I do worry about our ability to cast Niv-Mizzet after that. They have three cards in hand. We have four. I think our dude is better. Oh, Nullhide Ferox is terrifying. That's no good. I keep wanting to hit these lands, which is very, very nice. It's very nice. I can't see the justification for attacking or playing any of these spells here. We can just Chemistry's Inside EOT. Make sure you hit a sixth land. Or a seventh land. Seventh land is what you want uh, to be able to Crackling Drake and keep up Eye and Eyes. So... I'm sitting on the tarlet. <laughs> That's the funniest pronunciation of toilet. Hunter, you need to stop it. Can you guys hear this guy? Chemister's insight. Put it in the thing. Do, 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 do. They haven't ionized yet, so they're probably just going to ionize this. Oh, we didn't. They didn't ionize it. Ionize. It feels so nice. Why aren't you attacking? Uh, we're at 11, they're at 20. We don't win that race. We have a 2-4, they have a 2-2. Two, two. 
So we put them to 18, they put us to 9, and they have a burn. They have a burn deck. That seems really bad. Uh, if you're not going to win the race, there's really no ins incentive to attack. See, now if we kill this guy and now we start attacking for 4, significantly more inclined to attack. You got that. That's fine. It's, it's fine. Well, right. It was a 3-4 when I just cast this Chemister's Insight. It was not a 3-4 when when someone inquired. Well, like, at, at any point I could have been attacking. It was not a 3-4. Great. This is the one match where the, the Crackling Drakes are going to look great. They have one card. Don't be a spell pierce, I guess. This is backbreaking. Oh, wow. Now we got two five fours. We draw another card. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. That should be game. We attack with one. Next turn, we put you. Yeah, we got double blaze. 420, double blaze it. Great. Oh, I'm not liking Crackling Drake so much. Now they're five fours. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they did just play a spell pierce and they only had one card in hand, so the odds are low. Oh, I forgot I anticipate it was in this format too. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's called... Did you not get the, the Inescapable Blaze name? Um, so what is this? Five? And this is six, so that's 11. If we play this first, it's 12. So I'm just going to take two here and assume there's no way you can kill us. Because if we block, they just have a very, very easy way to get rid of these guys. And I'm not about that. I ain't about that get rid of this guy life. Cook all. Good games. I hope you're not mad. Don't be upset. Oh, Wizard's Lightning. Okay. I will go to six. No, I went to nine. Okay. No, I went to six. Oh, they killed them. Did they kill themselves? I think they killed themselves. What happened? Oh, they targeted the Crackling Drake. Okay. They could have just killed themselves. That would have been classier. Arnick is 2-1 so far. That's pretty good. Chain Rollers can probably go. Crackling Drake? Oh, man. I don't want to change the mana base just to add Nickel Bolas, though. Though I do like Nickel Bolas a lot. A lot. What if Mission Briefing was just, like, Anticipate or something? Mike should take a week after in Holiday Avengers Cube this year so we can get as many Mike streams as possible. That's a good idea. I guess we could add Watery Graves and uh, Blood Crips. Blood Crips aren't legal and standard, JK. What if I just. Didn't I just say what if Chain Rollers were anticipates? I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Whose deck is this? Uh, mine? Uh, I'm Frank Laporte, Niv Mizzet player, buddy. This is a dragon wizard. Look at his smug face. Niv Mizzet kind of looks like a smug dog here. What's smug dog? I don't know. What's smug with you? <laughs> uh, look at his, like... Oh, did I say mission briefing? I So, we can take mission briefing out. I'm not super impressed with it. It's Mission briefing never costs less than, like, four mana in this deck. I do like that I can fix your your lands and get like you can so you can stack a land and kind of ionize. Um, but I think these four can be cut. So now we got four slots, which is nice.
No, this is not. This is mine. This is a this is a Frank Lepore creation. Niv has weirdly human arm muscles. Oh god, it's so weird. Oh, that's creepy, dude. Where's the uh It's literally says show preview pane, but the preview pane was not there. Okay. Oh, look at that arm. Look at this creepy arm. No. That ain't okay. So we could, yeah, we could add like a couple Dragon Skull Summits and a couple Watery Graves. Oh, God. But then we like, we can hold, we can rework the whole deck, right? One, two, three, four. We're only taking out islands for these. Because they are also islands. And we don't want to mess up our Niv-Mizzet mana. And Dragon. But then we also get... We could also get Drowned Catacombs as well. So these are going to be reds. Because now we have... Also, Dragon Skull Summit and Sulphur Falls come into play with both of the... Oh my god. This is pretty good. Drowned. I'm going to add two Drowned for two islands. Because Drowned Catacomb also comes into play tapped with, self, with uh, Water Graves and Steam Vents. I don't want to go down to one Niv. I think two Niv is great. Uh, and I see L. Nicobolus has a first name. It's N I C O L. Nicobolus has a second name. It's B O L A S. I think three is good. Now we can add more black cards, but the problem is we're trying to burn them out, right? Burning them out is primary directive here. Are there any good five mana cards that we want? Blue black cards. We could, we could like this would be the Scarab God slot, right? I haven't even looked at black cards, so I wouldn't know. Now we can now we can look up the Demir cards. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're having some we're having some good times today. Good times, everything is all right. All right, we're gonna look up Demir exclusively because I don't want to. Um, I'm just gonna look up Guilds of Ravnica as well. Because there's obviously no Blood Crypts. Uh, there's no Rakdos cards in the format. And we've already looked at the Izzet cards. So let's look up the blue and the black cards. Price of Fame is a good... Um, Isn't like... Isn't there something better? There's, isn't Frasca's Contempt just better? I guess because it kills Niv-Mizzet for two, it kills Nicobolus for two. Sure. Oh, Doom Whisperer. We could put a couple of Doom Whisperers here. I do like Connive Concoct, especially with these guys. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Because I'm probably going to use the five mana side more than more than the four mana side. I'll put one in here for now. Yeah, this is why I'm not looking at Vraska's Contempt. I think Vraska's Contempt is great, but we have other ways to deal with... This is going to be like... This is still a counter burn deck. We're just adding like a few black cards. Surveilling three and then returning like a Niv-Mizzet or a Nicol Bolas, especially if we've discarded it to... Like we can... This lets us discard an early Niv-Mizzet to like a Chemist's Insider or a risk, a risk Factor in order to just play Concoct. Concoct is one black. Like it's totally fine. Everything is all right. We can also put duress in the sideboard, which is nice, but I don't know if we need it over like counter spells. Ritual of Soot is double black, so I'm not super high on that. I kind of like one Eldest Reborn. That's just because it's a good card. Like it's just one of my pet cards, I think. So I I think I like it because of that, and not necessarily because it's a great choice. I kind of just want two of these. Even the control magic is not terrible. Is it converted mana cost or power? Reach your power two or less? What can we get with that? This feels like a one of actually. Maybe one like Doom Whisper. You should cut red and blue.
I'll put one Eldest Reborn in here. We still get two slots, which is pretty cool. And I do have to borrow one Nicol Bolas. Oh, Legion Boss actually seems like it could be good. What's that guy going for? That guy's probably going for like a million tickets. The card's like three tickets. My problem with things like Legion Boss is that we don't have a ton of creatures for like shocks or lightning strikes. So if they end up having those cards, I don't want to give them targets for it. I just want to make sure all of our cards do something when they come into play. Like Niv Miz, it's always going to do something when it comes into play because if they kill it, you're going to draw a card. Nickel Bolas is always going to make them discard a card. I kind of like avoiding smaller creatures that don't do things. So we have two more slots. Um, I could see putting like... What did we take out? We took out uh, two Chain Whirlers and two... I feel like just two Anticipates. Oh, you were saying Wood Connive Steals. I, I thought you were making suggestions. My bad. Not a big Plague Crafter fan. Because Plague Crafter in this deck is just going to literally sacrifice itself. Uh, if we cut Risk Factor for Drakes, we're not only ruining some of the, the synergy. Like we actually... We lose a lot of the damage that we have. Like, a lot of people times are just taking eight from these. But we also lose enchantments for drakes. And we're also putting in more four mana cards and having very few low mana cards. So. Sarkon's pretty interesting. What if we put in, like, two Sarkon for the dragons? Jumpstart Shock's pretty expensive. I'd rather just have regular Shock. You're gonna go here. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to go to that weird spot. So we can go turn three Sarkon, turn four Niv Mizzet. That seems pretty good. Do I not have any Sarkons? Dang! What a dummy. All right, let's grab those. Everything is all right. Sarkon, Fireblood. We'll just put two in here. I think that's fine. What's expansion do? I don't. Is that the rare one? I like explosion a lot. Um, I don't think expansion's that good. It's just a counter spell most of the time. Like, you counter their thing, they counter it back, and then you copy it. Um, whereas Explosion, I like a lot. I love Explosion as a card. It's just kind of expensive. Yeah, this seems good. This deck has changed significantly, but I like the changes, so. I like Thief of Sanity a lot as well. Um, however, I don't, like I said earlier, I don't like the odds of it surviving when it's our only creature that isn't a, that has less than four toughness. This is a Grixis burn now, boy. Damn, my thick. All right, we're just gonna play first. Uh, this hand is everything I've ever wanted in a hand of magic. I just like reanimating creatures. Like, I like reanimation spells in general. I am pretty shocked at the number of... Wow, these lands are fantastic. All these lands are coming into play untapped. Uh, these are one of my favorite land cycles ever. It's so easy. They're so easy to um, to put into play untapped. You know what I mean? We're also one red away from just having Niv-Mizzet mana as well. So we can go blue, 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 red, red. 
I'm really not about playing a Nicol Bolas here. Well, the answer is that, I guess. I don't know who wins this battle if we're playing in the control mirror match. I'm probably going to lightning strike their face here. Like it, like it. Yeah, this definitely has an RTR stand. Look at these, look at these mana bases. This is great. Well, it's a creature of Planeswalker, right? Oh, that's so good. So we have double counter spell up. That's pretty cool. One more land that we can keep. We can play Nicol Bolas with Ionized Mana up, which is nice. But they could very easily have two counter spells with the seven lands they have in hand. Hmm. Try Arc Like Phoenix? No, I'm not a big Arc Like Phoenix fan. Like a 3 2 is not super impressive. Let's see if this guy does the job. I doubt it. But I don't know what we're, what we're playing against right now either, so I want to bait something out here just to throw it out there. See what happens. Oh, Deafening Clarion. See, this is what I mean. Like, if we played something like Phoenix or Legion Boss or Thief of Night, Night Thief or whatever that card's called, um, it just dies. Like, you turn on a lot of their, their spells. Shivan Fire Kicked. Nah, it's, this feels worth countering. Spell Pierce! Imagine if they reprinted Cryptic. I imagine that every day. And then it shuttles me off to sleep. That's sweet, sweet. Is this a Teferi? <laughs> oh, this is going to be nice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I will take two here. La da 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 da. Put your Teferi in the trash can. Oh, Eldest Reborn, you are a hell of a drug. And I have discard a card too, and we get our Nicol Bolas back, and that discards another card. They're at 13. They're two inescapable blazes away from death. Well, actually, they're two inescapable blazes and one life point away from death, Frank. <laughs> yes. Um. Sure. I think the new symbol on the walkers looks great. It's much clearer. You know exactly how many it has. Like you're clear that it's loyalty. I think that's I think it's totally fine. Uh, we could we could and are definitely going to take their Teferi. So make no mistake about that, good sir. But up, but up, up, up. Untap those lands. Congratulations. We could just all inescapable blaze their Teferi as well. Could be pretty good. I really don't want them having a Teferi on board, so. We only have one card in hand, but we do get to get, get a Nicol Bolas and get a Teferi next turn. C -c Congratulations. This is also two of their two of their two of their Teferis. I can't imagine they have that many more. Ta-da! Comes Teferi number three. Or nothing? They can't disallow our trigger, which is super nice. They could have like a blink. 
Obs Teferi. Shut up and take my money. One, two, three, four. We will ride with you, Frank, through the Valley of Salt to the green sunlit uplands of the 3 0 gods. I think we're 2 1 right now. We can't 3 0. We can 3 1, though. Neon Tokyo Run, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Always appreciate it. Yeah, we're just going to draw here. Because we could draw a counterspell. Do we play a land? Nice. So if they go 1, 2, 3, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana left over. We can syncopate for 5, which is unfortunate. Oh, or fortunate, depending on what they do here. Is this just a, is this a blink? Devious cover-up. Whatever. If you have two counter spells, it's fine. Sure. Nicol Bolas leaves, and you get to recycle one Teferi. And you have two cards, and I have your Teferi. Eh, I'm okay with all these things. I guess we'll F6, because we have... No Where did all our cards go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 lands. Yikes. That is a lot of lands. I would have played this first in case you draw something else, but what do I know? The wildest sitcom. Two friends. Oh, now we're now we're doing now we're doing some things. Come on, Niv Mizzet. Oh, is it? Oh, Riz Riz it? Rals is it? One, two, three, four, five. What's even happening? I'll take the ionize. Oh, buddy. Oh, biscuits. It definitely does not go into your library, no. You can never have opponent's cards into your library. It will always say owners. Oh, did we go Grixis, guys, while you weren't looking? Did we go Grixis? All right, Hunter. Take it easy. Take it easy. Who's a good boy? <coughs> so we're untapping with two Planeswalkers that have six loyalty. Seems good. And we have an inescapable blaze in hand. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> and we have an... Is oh my god. This is great. This is great. He is the goodest boy. Give me all the cards. Oh, which dragon do we want? I don't even know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They have two cards. It might just be Nicol Bolas Ravager here. Oh, I wish I did this first, because then I would put this in the graveyard, and then I'd get both. We, we, you never know. Oh, Niv can't be countered. Yeah, that's that's good enough for me, I think. Uh oh, they're digging. They are a digging. Yeah, Niv seems hard to deal with for them. Oh, can't be countered, dude. Negate. Negate. Blue, red, this one. Time's wasting. So we're gonna play this guy. We're gonna un. We're gonna add two mana. We'll add one red <clears throat> and one blue. Oh, that's not gonna work the way we think it works. So one, two, red, red, blue, blue. Oh, please counter it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, please counter it. We've used both of these. We can pass with uh, Essence Scatters up. Oh, man. Look at these Planeswalkers. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh, blah, blah, something clever. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I feel like we're doing cool things right now on Standard. 
Look, we got the, the we got a boy band over here. This is a dig if I ever saw one. That main phase dig is not where you want to be, my friends. Time's a wasting. And we win the game. All right. And we have a bunch of blanks in our deck, too. We got a bunch of shocks and stuff. Inescapable Blaze number two comes in. Double Banefire comes in because I'm going to burn your brain out. Uh, Spyglass comes in against Teferi. Negates come in. So I feel like we can take out uh, the Lightning Strikes. While I like Lightning Strike, it's not great. And probably maybe Concoct? I almost want a second Eldest Reborn over Concoct. That was pretty good. Oh, Scatter does seem bad. You're right. That's that's probably better. And we'll bring in a Lightning Strike. Hmm. Yeah. Take out a Blaze? It's, it's a win con. It can't be countered. We also don't even have to do that. No way. I actually brought one in because I want to be able to just six you, six you, six you. We didn't see any ways to gain life, so. Time's a waste. Oh, uh, the blue black split card is great because if they counter a creature or if we discard it early to one of these cards, we just get to reanimate a Nicol Bolas or a niv -Mizzet, so they have to deal with it twice. We just lost four Bernie Boy spells, though? Yeah, but still, like, we have to kill them some... Yeah, no, we only lost... Uh, is this the only one we have left? Did we take out the lightning strikes? No, we did. I mean, Blaze is still good, though. Like, I'm gonna keep this hand. I like it. I like it. We're just going to play this. D-Man, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Look at all their tap lands. Look with all your tap lands. I really don't want to run a Sarkhan out on turn three. Like, they clearly have a counter spell, right? We can wait. Thank you for your content. You're one of the most consistent, entertaining providers of limited content. Your constructive stuff is good, too. I'm just a fan of draft. Keep Thank you so much. That is great to hear. That's all I've ever wanted. Sarkhan looks good here, but I don't want to just run him out into a untap three mana. Is Thief of Sanity worth playing, or am I just blinded by potential value? I, I thought I went over this. I love Thief, Thief of Sanity as a card. Uh, the problem in this deck is that like if they have Lightning Strikes or Dead Weights or Shocks in their deck... You've managed to blank them because we don't have anything that they can target effectively. And once you put Thief of Sanity and it turns on all of that kind of like tiny creature removal. Oh, by the way, about the about the inescapable blaze, we still have ionize and risk and risk risk fortune, is that what it's called? So Iron Chef Sammy, I love you too, buddy. You are the best. Being able to hit all these land drops is just such gas. And if they want to counter, like, Chemister's Insight, it's pretty okay. Risk Factor? What did I say? Risk Fortune? Yeah, you guys are right. <clears throat> oh, it's your boy, Nickel Nicholas Bolas. Oh, it's your boy Nicholas Nicholas Mizzet. Just call it Browbert. I'm just gonna play this untapped. Oh man, N Nicobolus next turn. Oh, maybe we just play Sarkon here. That seemed good. Next turn they go untapped land Teferi though. That seems bad.
whatever. Risk it for Labiscuit. That's fine. That was one of our weaker cards. Steam Vents. Unta oh, tapped, yes. Fantastic. Oh, History of Banalia. That's awkward. Yeah, that's actually fine. I don't think I care about that. I could just lightning strike this token, which we're probably going to do just to keep ourselves alive. Like, we don't have a way to deal with the token, so I'm just going to kill it. Oh, boy. Yep, take an extra two. One, two, red. Red, blue, and red. It's your boy. I mean, they could go Teferi, Tuck, Nickel, Niv, Mizzet, which is very, very good. I'm actually afraid of them doing that right now, which they're 100% going to do because they always have Teferi. Or they just play their own Niv, Mizzet. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Yep, that's 100% what we figured was going to happen. Yep. We do get to untap play Nickel Bolas and it doesn't do much. I'm probably just going to blaze this guy. Even though he's a 1, it doesn't seem great. I like Nicol Bolas Ionize here. I also just like second Niv Mizzet. Times a waste. So we do give them one card with Teferi, but they still only have four cards. Banefire. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy, dude. I'm okay with that. Ionized does not hit planeswalkers. That would be great. It's targeted. It's each to that spells it's a spells controller. <coughs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This be eight mana. I don't think we need eight mana here. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's not going to do it. Just have the perfect three. You're just deciding which of your two counter spells you're gonna use. Wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep. Seems good. They go back up to three cards. We go to ten. We should be drawing Niv our first Niv Mizzet here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we still get two. Syncopate for two. For one. <clears throat> Time's a wasting. Oh, we're definitely not dead, especially because they can't counter Niv Mizzet. Like, they, I imagine they have very few answers to a Niv Mizzet. <clears throat> Chemistry's insight in response. Yeah, it's fine. I can't counter that, so. <clears throat> And luckily, Teferi is only at two, so there's no real. Sure. Pretty sure we blocked the knight here. <laughs> you know, if they let us. 
They also have five cards in hand, R2. We have Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cycle this and deal one to Teferi. <clears throat> Yikes. What is this? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Actually, we have Inescapable Blaze for that, which is pretty insane. Oh, this is nice, because then we can counter whatever this is. Is this going to be a blink? Oh. No. Search for Escanta? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this is great, because we can kill the niv and kill the Teferi. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And we have Syncopate, just in case. Just in case nothing. I mean, they have we have uh, Inescapable Blaze. You can't escape it. <clears throat> Um, shoot this guy. Let's get a red in there. All right. <clears throat> you draw first. Deal a point. You got it. And shoot this again. <clears throat> Kill that guy. Play this, because now we can syncopate their thing. If they play blink, it's just fine. <clears throat> Blah. Excuse me. Yeah, I remember when um there was the there was the elemental creature in um I believe it was original Zendikar, Fire Blaze, whatever. Oh, Dawn of Hope. I like that a lot. That's nice. Why would you put that in the graveyard? That seems insane. Oh, I guess because I can just ping all your guys. Yeah, makes sense. Seems good. And I have the second niv in hand. I'll be sure to play that next turn. <clears throat> oh, my God. One. This is Teferi number three, right? Yep. So long, Niv Mizzet. Obsidian Fireheart, yeah, that's the dude. Time's a wasting. Search for Azcanta number two. You got it. <clears throat> I kinda like a land so I can chemistry's insight insight here, but that's also very, very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> All right. We're going to keep going with these Niv Mizzets because your only answer just keeps giving them back to us. Fireheart guy. Yeah, this is rough. Search for us count is a hell of a drug. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll flip this one, too. I guess we're going to pop out the graveyards. They have no other... Um, we are playing search. We have one search in the deck. I didn't want to put two because I just, I'm not a big two search fan, but two might be correct. I don't know. I waffle on between one and two all the time. I never want to draw a second one, especially early in the game. But we do have ways to discard cards, which is super nice. Like having things like Chemistry's Insight or Risk, <clears throat> Risk Fortune. That's not what it's called. Risk factor. Oh, settle the wreckage. Good to know. Good to know. Well, this was originally Disdainful Stroke, and now I'm wondering if I do want a Disdainful Stroke more. So they have five cards. What are the odds they have a counter spell? I'm actually going to shoot Teferi. <clears throat> so now we have one, two, one, two, three, and we can still syncopate for another three. So I think we can win this counterspell war. 
And we can also, we have to kill Teferi in the process, so. We can also Chemister's Insight, but I'm, we have three counter spells. I'm pretty sure we just draw, draw, draw. And, uh. So. I draw a card here. Yeah, as long as they play this, we're killing Teferi already, so. <laughs> and I'll negate this. And I will draw. <clears throat> This is such value. This is unreal. And I'll shoot you. And that'll resolve. And you're negating my negate. I'll ionize that. Blue, black, red. And then I'll draw another card. <clears throat> and I'll shoot you again. And then I'll ionize and you'll take two. And then I'll draw a card and I'll shoot you again. And your Settle the Wreckage dies. And we're doing okay. And then you take five. It seems good. Is that good? I feel good. Huh. Was that good? Seemed good. <clears throat> so, let's see what you hit. This is gone. I think this is still in your hand. Because it's not in your graveyard. I'm probably going to Chemister's Insight here just so I can... Nah, we'll keep it single paid up. Actually... Yeah, we're going to do this now. And we get to draw another card, so we actually draw three. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty nuts. Time's a-wasting. Oh, we get to draw. We did do two more. <laughs> so if you take four from here, that's fine. <clears throat> and if you let me draw three, you take three instead. So <clears throat> I'm okay with everything that's happening right now. Hopefully you guys are watching at home and enjoying this just as much as we are. They did not want this. They're like, History Benali is not going to cut it here. I just played Sift at Instant Speed that let us draw four. Look at, look at this digging that's going on. I love it. I love this deep digging. And that will do. Ooh, boy. Inescapable Blaze. Better than Teferi, guys. Just so, uh, just so you're clear. This is the final list, and I actually like it a lot. I think it's very strong. I would te I'd be tempted to play this one more Eldest Reborn over one Concoct because they kind of do the same thing. Only this has more. <clears throat> Eldest Reborn has more value in the front with them sacrificing a guy and discarding a card. Um, I actually probably want another one of these. I think that's probably correct. But yeah, this deck seems sweet. I enjoyed this a lot, and I hopefully you guys did too. And uh, it will be on, I'm going to write a little write-up for Patreon as well. So if you guys want to check it out on Patreon, it's in the dollar tier. One dollar a month, that's all it takes. Patreon.com slash Franklin Pork. And um, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not ending the stream. I'm just ending the video. But thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. If you're on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And you can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.